Hi, this is Vince Heartbreak, and you're with Talk of the Day with Detroit Bay. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what uh, that's what King Kel. Yes, yes. Young man. You wait. You did your research. Oh my gosh. Yes. Jeez, you did your research. Yes, just because he's a, he has a famous dad. Lindsay just likes to keep things loose and fun. End quote. Your grandfather passed about three years ago, and you said in a recent interview on Inside with Famous, since his middle name was Vincent and you were heartbroken, you put the two together, stopped playing basketball, and pursued music fully. The loss of anyone dear to you can be heavy to bear. But considering your choice to commemorate your grandfather's namesake as a part of your alias, tell us about your relationship with him. Oh, man, that was my guy right there. My granddad, that was my guy. Like, I don't know, I, like, there's so much stuff I could talk about with my granddad. Like, he, like, that, like, that guy dang near, like, made me who I am today. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like that was my guy. He um he passed three years ago. He died from yeah he was on dialysis. So like I want to say his kidneys or liver. I don't know which one one of them gave out. But like I was hooping overseas when that happened. Like it was really like it was really spooky. Like what the frick? My granddad died. We were in Vegas at the time. Um, my little brother Caleb Hunter. Uh, he was playing AAU down there. So I'm down there like chilling and granddad passes. I'm like dang. Then that's when I was like screw this man. Like basketball is like. One thing my granddad told me to do is do like stay with like what's with your what's with uh, what's with your heart. You feel what I'm saying? That that's one thing he told me. So like, I was playing basketball more for like I don't know like especially that guy Gerald. Per but that's so funny. You did your research. Holy Malcolm, you see this from? <laughs> oh my gosh, Jared. Per I hope he watches this too, man. Like that basketball, like that guy right there, like. That guy was not happy, but, like, he got the job done, you know what I'm saying? You would have thought he was happy, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, me, like, being an artist, I get to, like, talk about everything that was, like, in the past, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, talk about growing up wealthy. How is it being son of an NBA champion? Ooh, well, that's a tough question. Can I, can I plead the fifth? No, I just mess with you. I just mess with you. Oh, uh, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's really, it's a blessing. Like, it's a blessing to be, like, you know what I'm saying, come from like wealth and get to see the world on a whole total aspect. But then on the other side, like you miss good shit in life. Like you know what I'm saying, I just got hit to ramen noodles. Them bitches are banging. Like, I, no dad, I would eat them bitches. Like, oh my, people are like, I wasn't hip to that. Like, I had a chef growing up. Yeah, I got you. Right? Like that lifestyle was different, and like everybody knowing exactly, like, oh, that's Lindsey Hunter's son. Like I was in the gym the other day. Hooping, like I'm coming to that bitch hoodied up. You know what I'm saying? I got some glasses, chilling. Oh, that's Lindsey Hunter's son. That's Lindsey Hunter's son. We 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 gotta go at him. Like nigga, I'm here to crack a sweat, bro. I just finished smoking, my nigga. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm booming. It's now, just a form of exercise. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now I will get out there and bust a nigga's ass and prove a point, but you know what I'm saying? I'm a chill dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. Not to downplay education, but more and more and more, we are learning that some of the world's leading business professionals and the wealthy people, and some wealthy people, period, don't have a college degree, and some don't finish high school. Um, in some cases, so the overall message runs parallel with your logic that even in the, even if the institution isn't fit for you, you can still be successful. Talk about entrepreneurship, your brand, and, and what that means to you. Uh, I really think, like, 
And I might like, I did say I definitely did drop out of school. School just was not for me, you feel what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh, I hated school. It was so bad. <laughs> so bad. But, um, yeah, like like you said, like a lot of people, like especially people I know, like a lot of business owners, like like bare minimum education, like they did some college, like they didn't graduate. Right. It's more about knowing how to adapt in the real world, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. I used to own my own little snow company when I was like, I was like, that was probably when I first started making music. When I had I had my my freaking dread weave. Oh my gosh, what was I doing? <laughs> but uh, that, that was young Vince heartbreak. Okay. But I had my snow moving company, and it was literally like, like you, they don't teach you that shit in school. You know what I'm saying? Print flyers out, going to post them on 300, 400 houses in like the same area, putting the numbers. Out. They don't teach you that shit in school. Like, they teach you to go, oh, do this homework, do this, do that, go get a job. Like, which is nothing wrong with that, but. I'm just with like the. Like, you can definitely make it without school. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Out of the yeah. Field. Like, it's not that bad. Yeah, exactly. A lot of your lyrics are centered around drug use. What do you think separates a drug user from a drug abuser? Ooh, that's a tough question. You better even put the blood down. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I don't know. Like, when it comes to drug, like drugs is like a very, very serious topic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if, if you're a drug user, I feel like you're like, it's almost like, it's, it's kind of, it's a fine line. Like, how do you tell if you're abused? You know what I'm I feel like I use drugs, if I'm saying, as a crutch. I feel like a lot of other people do too, which is like, it's not good. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, I promote that shit, but I really don't be liking to promote that shit. I really don't be trying like to put that out there, even though I do, which is really contradicting itself. But... If you're using drugs, you need to really, like, you need to, whatever whatever you're using drugs for, like I would say, you need to get to the center of, like, whatever that is, that cause, and deal with that. And then if you want to use the drugs after that, go ahead and fucking do it, bro. But Just know why you're doing it. Yeah, just, you know what I'm saying? You got to know. You know I'm saying? I feel like there's a lot of niggas who, like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of people. Like, I can just do drugs because that shit is cool. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like. I'm about to, I'm about to pull me up before today. Hell yeah, we lit. Let me get on the ground real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas ain't. That, that's the type of shit. That's the type of shit that gets you fucked up. Like fucked up your body type shit. Exactly. Okay. Um, with your track Codis, you still give us your style and cadence, but with a different message than usual. A few people who do music put out have put out um, unassuming and somewhat political songs this year as well. Sometimes want to know who they follow and are in support of, have awareness, and speak on social issues. So I can see the importance of it. You say that you have a majority of pop influence and that you're a fan. Tell us what. But how do you personally, <laughs> how do you personally define your style, your sound, and style? To be honest with you, I have no. Cause I I make so many different types of songs. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just make music. <laughs> I, I want to put myself in a, like a style. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, I don't know. I can make shit that sound like the shit that's popping now. You feel what I'm saying? I can make some sad shit. You feel what I'm saying? To give you a Juice World feel. And then I can like go make some totally different shit that don't even sound like no hip hop type shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You're versatile. Yeah. Very. I, yeah, that's what I would say. Very versatile. What would you say you're totally against trying music? Honestly, God, you didn't ask my manager that question. I'm open to everything when it comes to trying stuff, music. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you see branding yourself as sad boy as limiting or preventing you from exploring other styles and songs with uh, faster BPMs? I mean, I don't know. Like, I guess we're going to find out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It was kind of like the pocket he was in. It would seem yeah, like yeah. But, but Juice, Juice may have, like Juice may upbeat sad music too. You feel what I'm saying? True. Like Juice definitely has some. It's just like because I I got some upbeat songs, but they're so sad as fuck. Like yeah. Like uh, shit. <laughs> Damn. You know what I'm saying? It's like what the fuck. Okay. So what would you say is the intention behind the music you make? Like what do you want to leave people 
like like my whole my whole thing growing up is always like leave a legacy you know what I'm saying so like I feel like if I can help like any anybody who like feels the same type of way I feel you feel what I'm saying which is a lot of people out there like there's a lot of people out there that are like like going through a lot of shit you feel what I'm saying music helps me like I gonna lie, music helps me get through shit. I swear to God, I do not know where the fuck a nigga would be right now. I'd probably be locked up in a crazy hospital if I did not have music to just get be able to get my feelings out. You feel what I'm saying? Be a relief for you. Yeah, like, you feel what I'm saying? Instead of getting upset, I can just go knock out 10 tracks. Mm. Come back like, damn, what was that upset about? Okay, so what is next for Ben's Heartbreak? Right now, we're just, like, me and my team, we're just all releasing, like, singles. Like, I think we're dropping every Friday, I would say. Okay. Until New Year's. On December 6th, my um, album, Presa, we're going to do a Presa on our website. That'll be up and running. Okay. Um, and we're going to see where we're at after that. We got a few um, interests from a few different labels and stuff, so. That's awesome. We're going to, you know I'm saying, we're going to do this thing independent and see where it can take us. Yeah. Okay. Like I'm, I don't know. Like I don't know. I'm, I'm four, three, sixty deals, but like I don't know. It's just a lot, a lot of That's nonsense. That's interesting. Like, why? What's your take on that? I mean, like, at the end of the day, like, as a musician, like you gotta be like you can't just be stuck as a musician. Like, you're a business. Like, you're okay. a brand. So like, if I know, for example, I, I want to say Yachty did this. Don't quote me on this though, but. Like, I want to say he signed a 360 distribution deal and ended up making three times. Is that, are those correct facts, Malcolm? Well, Yachty? Yeah. I mean, Yachty in a 360 deal, but... Is he still in a 360 deal? Yeah. He's okay. The but his, his, his freaking advertisement, he's making, that, and that's all he's, him. He's making money because he turned himself to like a business entity. Exactly, yeah. Oh, okay. Business entity, that's, that's so the word. Right there. just about your, your own knowledge Is that life? Yeah, fact. Wow. <laughs> fact. Okay. One of your recent posts on IG said you are smiling more. We're glad to hear it and see it. <laughs> Any closing comments? Uh, not re- Oh, well, you got to make sure to go follow me. Yeah, you know? yeah, we're going to get to that. Okay, so tell us where we stream your music and uh, what's your YouTube. It's every on my YouTube is Vince Heartbreak. Uh, social media is all Vince Heartbreak. Uh, you can stream my music on every... I want to say every streaming platform out there. Okay. So you can find me pretty much anywhere. You can talk to your Amazon Echo. I did that shit. It was pretty cool. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> it's break. Motherfucker play my music. I'm like, God dang. <laughs> this shit is crazy. <laughs>